hey fam hope you guys are doing well it is a beautiful afternoon in my african village and we are getting ready to make lunch for lunch today we are having abacha also known as african salad and i want to take you guys through the process of making it abacha is a very yummy african recipe and it is made from cassava so cook and eat with my nigerian family and i while also getting to know what its life in a typical african village looks like in 2024 i am danica kosi but i love it when you call me Unwage because i'm a baby girl please subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and also so let's be friends on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I am Danica Kosi everywhere. The first thing we did was to fry some of the local spices that we'll be using for this delicious recipe, our ehu and ehuru. We fried it for about 2-3 to three minutes in a dried heated pot, after which we went ahead to fry our dried pepper. This will add a very nice aroma to your abacha. What I'm finding here is Ehu, Ehu, and those is all the abacha. And so you guys, we are frying the oil that we use to So we are frying the oil that we want to use and prepare the abacha Okay But is it really um, this thing to fry oil? Because I know that a lot of people does not fry oil And I heard that you are not supposed to fry oil for abacha, is it true? Yes, it's true Okay It's true, but the reason why we are frying is not that we are frying it as such well. It's just for these onions to get the flavor of the onions because we don't want to use if it is if we want to prepare mm. into like african salad we don't okay. fry the onions we want to prepare abacha which everybody will eat and enjoy it okay because if we want to prepare that ezaga and udi style yeah we don't fry onions ezaga udi and the udi but they are the owner of abacha we want that their style that their style yeah. okay so we're not going to fry onions yes Okay, let us forget about trying. Okay. We are going to do it that way. Because I want to bring original content to you guys. So what's the main, the proper way okay. of preparing? Then in this way now we are going to use incha to prepare the amount. Yes. So okay. We will forget about students. Okay. And we will use incha. So you guys, we later went ahead and fried the onions because the people around said that they don't want raw onions in their food, so we had to fry the onions to, you know, get rid of that, you know, the smell of a raw onions. But apart from that, we followed the original process of making abacha, the traditional way. Okay. So the only difference is that we fried the on our own onions, but traditionally you don't get to fry the onions, so every other thing in the this video remains the same. This is ginger. So what are you adding? What is this? This is ginger. Ginger is not a cow. It's not a cow. This is ginger for abacha. For abacha. Mm -hmm. Okay. A cow is different from ginger. So this one does it purge? Ah, it doesn't purge. Okay. But if you if you use if you are using it for abacha, mm. it is when the people that will eat the abacha are there that you put it. That you begin to prepare the abacha. You don't okay. prepare it and keep. Okay. Because this will make the abacha to spoil very soon. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is what the incha looks like. Mm, this is the incha. Mm. 
sorry guys, this is the abacha, okay? They already dried one. I don't know the vlog that will go up first, whether it is this one or the or the other one that we showed you guys the process of making abacha. But this is what abacha looks like. They already dry, dried one. So this is the already dried abacha. Okay, so we are trying to take the one that we use for this video. This one you can keep this as long as you want. You can even use the over one. I can stay more than one year, right? Huh. This, this one can last more than one year, abacha. So what about the other one? It's the, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So this one is it properly dry? Uh, yes, it's dry, but you roll it so that it can then it can easily put inside. Back. Inside. Okay, okay, okay. So you roll it before it dries properly. No, it's after drying it. Okay. The, after it was dry, you you allow it to cool down and give it. When like juice must start falling on it, then you roll it. Then you roll it. Okay, Okay, so you are checking the temperature of the water, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yes, so you just yes. use warm water. After soaking the abacha, we allow this sit in water for about two to three minutes before coming back to check if it is soft enough for us, you know, to start preparing it proper. So, how long are we supposed to wait, like? And how do we know that the abacha is no, when okay? Just touch it, you see that time? It was. Then when you look at it, or you touch it, they are not into pieces. You don't start bring the, bringing them. Okay, when it is one one. Mm, they are not one one. All right. So you guys, this abacha now, mm, when you put it in water, you allow it to just. I think it just. It was just like. A minute or two, it was not more than two minutes, then you bring it out. Like if you're using warm water, depending on the type of abacha. You can, use, uh, water you, like. you can even use cold water if you like. Or even can you use hot water? Well, if you like. If you like, but you have to be an expert, right? It should not be water that boiling water. Okay, so she's saying that you don't use boiling water or water that is too hot to make the abacha. So if you want to make it, it has to be warm water and then you have to check it and know when it is um, okay right so the texture when you get the desired texture that you like okay that's when you bring it down i'm so sorry for how noisy the environment is because we are in the village we have a lot of kids running around a lot of people you know just people are just having fun generally so that is why this video is so noisy i'm so sorry you guys pardon me but the most important thing is that you get the real message that the video is bringing to you guys so yeah this is um the abacha okay we added ogiri to this oil but i kind of lost the clip this is what the ogiri looks like okay so you bought the oil first you add into okay. really it to your taste you see it it's your taste and you see the color it is bringing okay if you put the into you get this color you see it okay so after dissolving it you allow it to soak yeah, yeah. and when you soak you allow it to settle settle well yeah, because if you not settle well you get sand, you get sand, sand from it. It. okay so it's the water that you need yes just the okay water. okay the water so let me show them very well you see the sand we are talking about so it's the water you need from it so after adding the inch that you, you guys saw earlier the next thing we went ahead to add our stock cubes so right now you guys we are adding maggi to the abacha so we have not washed my own so you guys before you do this you have to wash your hand 
And so before you pour the abacha, before you start making this, you have to wash your hands very well. Okay, before we tell you that we're in the village. So before you do this, you have to wash your hands very well so that it will be clean, okay? So yeah. So right now we are pouring them. If it's time to mix the abacha. So the only thing I've added now is just the oil, right? We got numbers now, but I know about. Okay, just more oil, right? So we are going to use this to make the abacha because I like this so much. Like growing up, I really enjoy eating this garden egg. So we're not going to put egg. I want to add the um, already pounded Okay, Wait, is it different from Okay, they have a Okay, and then Oziza and Pepe, dried Pepe. So these are the three things that we've These are the three things we've added already, right? So you guys, I never actually knew that you could add oziza to abacha or rather that they add oziza to abacha. This was the first time I, I was trying it out and it tasted so nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me salt, oh. So we just finished washing the garden egg. It's time. I don't know if it's time to add it first. Add it. Okay, I should add it now. Okay, to go and get that. Okay, to go and get that. So this is opaka, you guys. So this is opaka. We are going to add it to the abacha. Now add it. Okay. With kanda. Okay, this is for more. We are going to mix it. We are going to mix with the kanda, right? Okay, what can Kanda? We mix it together. Okay. Okay. Yes, we'll go where I thought. So I'll see at the incha. Hey. So I'll turn it to the screen. So we mix it together. Okay. Is it okay now? Yes. Oh, they were for I need to I need to use I need to use it. So right now the abacha is ready, it is now time to test and know if the salt, the pepper and everything is okay and perfect. So the inchana we are adding, what is this made of? What is this made of? Mm. 
Are you the mentor? Huh? I'm a mo. I'm eating it. Eh? Nothing in the pantry. I'll show them. I'll still show you guys. Don't worry. Don't film it. I'll still show them. Hmm. In the middle of time, go shiny. Yeah, bring it to you. I want again. Just that. The mold is. And then it is actually, and this thing helps soften the abacha, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, can I call? Wow. No, 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 I won't. Mm -hmm. This is our account, but I can't want to afford. Okay, use this or mm -hmm. account for the Ungo. So, you can't get the main Ungo. Yeah, my new work, I can't want to afford. Yeah, you can't get the main Ungo. Yeah, you can't get the main Ungo. No, you can't get the main Ungo. Yeah, bongo. Bongo. Okay, this is also Okay. Before one by man, Okay, they call it Zincha because that's in on a pamphlet you can mention. Okay, yes, yes, I know that that time they, someone told me that they use that thing to make soap, local soap. Maybe not. We put you guys it is we put a pack of Okay, same thing. They will put vegetable. Uno Uro George. Uno accused. Uro George. Don't worry, we are not judge. See, you guys. It's abacha. If you want to eat abacha, use your hand. They don't use spoon to eat abacha. I don't know what to do. Anyway, you can use spoon. No, don't mind me, but you know, you enjoy it. You see the real test of abacha. You see the real test of abacha if you are eating it with your hand. That's when you see the real test. What do you think of test? So you guys, this is what it looks like. The abacha, it is ready. You can just eat. Serve with your palm wine or whatever it is that you want to use to eat it. All right, so this is the abacha, you guys. We are done cooking. And this is mine. It is now time to eat. Like it looks, it tastes so good, so delicious, so yummy. So they actually gave me my own fish. Like you guys, what is abacha with that? But uh, fish, either smoked fish or boiled fish. So this is mine. So this is the abacha, this is what it looks like, like you guys, and this is mine. I'm about to test it, like, in fact, I'm about to eat, start eating it now, okay? So that will be all for this particular video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share this video, and leave a nice comment. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! I love you guys. So let's enjoy this meal. You can actually enjoy this with pan wine or whatever it is that you want to enjoy it with. But for me, I'm just going to have this, like, I'm always going to have pan wine in the village. Okay. <laughs> All right, so see you guys soon.